So, hey, you know what? I'm sitting here in my dorm reading stuff for English class. And as I read stuff for English class, I think, you know what? I'm a little annoyed. I should make a... And I, and I, when I get annoyed, I talk to myself and I lay out my reasons for being annoyed like I'm having a philosophical conversation with somebody. Well, I decided, and you know, being I was reading about English, doing English homework, reading about writing and blah, 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 I decided, I was like, hey, you know what I ought to do? I ought to write this stuff down. But then I thought, no, I really don't want to go through the work of writing it down. And I thought, wait. I've got a webcam. And since I've got a webcam, I can post my ranting onto YouTube so that everyone can see it. So that'll be fun. When we read stuff for English class, they got plenty of readings on the, you know, on the, they post them all on Blackboard. They got that website where they put up everything for the course documents and stuff, all the stuff that we read. And all the stuff that we've read up until now, I assume this is going to change, I hope it will, um, all the stuff that we've read for this course up to now has been things about people who were struggling learning how to, you know, well, lear learning how to read and write, basically. Not, not learning how to read and write. Not, like, learning their letters. Well, there's been a couple that were like that. There was one like that for uh, Frederick Douglass. But mostly about people who, who come, into, come into their own as academic writers. And these people, I notice, are always struggling. You know, they're always... The, the pieces we read are about them overcoming their limitations and, and becoming something more than they were, and it's all noble and stuff. Well, you know, I have to ask, and this is what's kind of annoying me, is what about those of us who have a grasp of the material? You know? The people who, who come to the table and... They're, you know, they know how to write. They know how to write academically and do this and do that. And, uh, you know, they know how to formulate coherent arguments and write good papers and they can discuss well already, you know? So they don't need to, they don't need to think about all this. They don't have to have that monumentic, monumental struggle inside themselves because they can do it anyway. Just like... You know, you're like, hey, write, write me a paper with a thesis and a blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay. And there you go. And it's a good paper. And it's written and no one needed to help them. What about those people? I say this because I count myself as one of those people. All of the... All of the... Um, the th all of the stories are people that had trouble. Well, what about those of us who don't have trouble? You know, people have trouble. They do... They do... You know, they come for help, they get help, they better themselves. Well, call me arrogant, but what about those of us who don't need to better ourselves? We're on the level, we got it. No special instruction needed. What do we get? A pat on the back and another assignment? You know, there's no special awards, no special help, no feeling of accomplishment. We're just doing what we've been doing and doing what we know how to do. Not a big deal. But then one of these, one of these, you know, struggling underprivileged people, not always underprivileged, they've been underprivileged in the past several readings, but they're not always that way by a long shot. They come in and they have all these problems and they're frustrated and they can't do it and they're, ah, uh, but then they get it and everybody's like, oh, that's an inspiring story of awesomeness. Well, you know, here's the, the other guy over here who, the teacher said, write me a paper, and he wrote a paper, handed it in, got a good grade, because it was a good paper. It's like, you know, I'm just kind of, that guy just kind of goes, sits down, It's like, oh, okay, time for the next paper. You know, writing isn't an accomplishment of any sort, because he never had any trouble with it. I don't know, I just, you know, I count myself among that number, and maybe I'm just, I, I don't know if maybe I'm like, 
I've gone too far, and maybe it'll it'll come. Maybe I'll maybe I'll have this this trouble and be able to overcome later. <laughs> maybe I'm I need this. You know, maybe I as I go on, things will get more difficult, and I'll get less able to deal with them. And you know that that doesn't sound like something you would want to hope for. It's like, oh man, I hope I have trouble with this later. No, that's that's kind of that's that's kind of counterintuitive. You hope it stays easy. You know, I almost feel underprivileged because I am not underprivileged. I know what to do and I do it well. So, what does that get me? You know, no special recognition, no anything really. I'm just expected to sit there and keep doing what I've been doing. No big deal. Just seems like kind of a. I don't know. Seems like kind of a. I'm getting the short end of the stick here because I know how to do stuff. I don't know. All right. Well, now that my roughly six and a quarter minutes of ranting is over, thank you very much. Have a nice day.